Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With The Castle, your new show and discussion on all things Walt Disney World. On today's episode, for news, first up we have the uh, Electric Umbrella and others closing, or now closed, at Epcot for further demolition. Uh, we also have the Disney Springs Taco Food Truck closed for good. Um, VIP tour prices have increased again in Walt Disney World. And then also, last but not least, we have the changes coming to Cinderella's Castle in the Magic Kingdom. We're going to discuss deep into that. It's uh, something I'm looking forward to, and we're going to break it down for you. But all that and more, up next. Welcome back to the show, everybody. The date is February 18th, 2020, and this is episode 53 of Keeping Up with the Castle uh, podcast and videocast. Mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Colin. I'll be your host, and join with me every episode, co-host Brendan. How are you, man? I'm doing good, doing good. Very good. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, excited to bring some news. Uh, we were going to record a few days ago, and there wasn't much news going on. Just, yeah, just a lot there's of there's actually no news, <laughs> no news really. Yeah, construction updates, just minor things here and there. So we wanted to wait to make sure we brought you some news, but something maybe worth it. So yeah, I think we compiled a, a pretty good segment for for you guys here today. Um, some great stuff came out today that we're looking forward to. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna break that down to you. So. Um, do you have anything in interior no. housekeeping style? Other than fixing my roof, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just ha- did just have to do that in the studio, and my, my drywall guy left uh, about two hours ago. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I don't have anything on this end. We'll jump we'll, right into it. I guess I am going to Disney in two weekends, yeah. but we'll talk about that later. Uh, Brendan, take it away. So up first for the news today is the electric umbrella and others are permanently closing for demolition in Epcot. On February 16th, the electric umbrella closed, along with Penn Central and the surrounding merchandise carts. Guests will now be directed to use the newly created walkways on each side of the spaceship Earth. The right-hand side will lead to the seas, the land and imagination pavilion, and on the left side of the walkway between the guest relations and gateway gifts will lead to mission space and mouse gear. So we knew this was coming. Um, they're finally getting to it, so it's just a little redirection, really. Um, this shouldn't affect anybody that much. All right, everybody. First up for my news topic today is the price increase for the VIP tours in Walt Disney World. So pricing for a VIP tour does fluctuate based on the season, just like park tickets, but the high season prices have increased by $150 an hour. So that's pretty extreme. Um, the cost of a private VIP tour is up to a whopping $750 per hour, which was previously $600 uh, with a seven hour minimum. So after doing the math for you guys, the minimum was $4,200 uh, for a day and now it's $5,250. So it went up $1,050. This is pretty extreme. Then again, you're not going to do this anyways, even at the $600 rate. if that money is going to actually hurt you or affect you, so you probably got to have quite a bit of coin to do this. Um, something that I would always love to do, maybe I never will, maybe I will, who knows, but um, this tour takes you VIP, you get driven to between each park in the back lot, cast member entrances, you enter the rides through the exits, you skip every line, uh, there's meals included, like I said, private transportation, free water, snacks here and there. Um, not free, I mean you're paying $5,000, so... Um, but it's very, very cool. So an experience I might not try, but it's quite pricey now. So best of luck to anyone out there wanting to do it. Up next for the news today is Disney Springs Street Taco Food Truck is now closed on the west side. With the taco stand closing, a new hot dog food truck concept will be the replacement. The Fourth Rivers Cantina, which offers taco cones, remains open in the marketplace. So like I said, they are closing this taco stand truck. I was a big fan of it. I probably went two to three times. You know, there's not many that many quick service places inside Disney Springs, so it's nice to just stop and get a quick taco. But with the hot dog stand coming, if they make some out of the box hot dogs, it's gonna be a great place. But if the do- hot dogs are just mediocre, 
I don't think it'll be that busy. I think they are going to have some crazy ones just because that's where the performers are um, at night when they have the street performers. So if they have good hot dogs, that place will be packed. All right, everybody. Last on the news is going to be the changes coming to the Cinderella Castle at the Magic Kingdom. So this is big news. One of the biggest monuments in all of Disney. When anyone thinks of Disney World, they're going to think of this castle most likely. Maybe Epcot, but probably this castle. And um, it's getting changed for the first time in a long, long time. It's had a very similar look for a while, maybe besides some birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, but that being said, Disney did announce the Cinderella Castle will be getting an updated look as part of the 70th anniversary for the animated classic and the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. So the concept art you're looking at features darker blue turrets, more golden enhancements, and a little more pink and tan throughout, aside from just kind of the bland gray. Uh, that being said, work is slated to begin in the next few weeks, and we don't know how long it'll take, but they are committed to having it completely uh, ready for the uh, summer 2020 season. So I'm thinking, I don't know, something about me makes, it, makes me think it'll take a little while, but probably a few weeks. We'll see. All right, so anyways, the castle, Brennan. What, what do you think about this changing? Like I said, it's the biggest monument in yeah. Walt Disney World, really, so like, any minor change people could love or hate, what do you think? Yeah, I don't think the castle needed to be updated, but now that they are, I'm not like against it by any means. Right. Um, I do like the gold aspect of it, mm -hmm. bringing that little bit of pop of color. I like th that the gray is just, a, I don't know how to describe it, but I just like the gray a lot. The pink, um, the yeah, the pinkish sky, or I don't the, know. The pinkish tan. Yeah, color. like that weird color. I'm okay about that, but my favorite parts are definitely the gold in the bottom, the gray brick part. Right. And I think it, maybe this will help pictures. I do see it helping pictures from like far away to be able to see the castle a little bit better when yeah, it yeah. is a gloomy day. I just kind of thought about that. It's just um, more vibrant. So yeah. yeah. Those gloomy days, it'll kind of show more. It'll be more, again, it's more yeah, bright yeah, and bold. Yeah. And I think that's a big statement for the, the yeah. main monument there. Yeah, I, I have no complaints. Right. No, I agree. I'm, I'm pretty much in the same boat. I'm in diff I don't, if they didn't do it, it wouldn't matter to me, yeah. but um, it's not something we were asking for. Um, and the same thing almost with Brennan, the pinkish tan color you see above the brick going up, I is very mild, so it's almost even kind of grayish, pinkish tan. Yeah, it's like... And, and, and I do like it, however, it is getting eerily similar in color to the new Project uh, Stardust or Pixie Dust, or whatever they call it at Disneyland, where they just repent yeah. Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Yeah. It's pink and blue and everything. So I like that they were very different, and now they're a little bit more similar. You can still Which... clearly tell them apart, because they're 100 feet difference in height. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I think it's a good thing. Like you said, the gold, yeah. the dark blue on the turrets is making things pop more. Yeah, so... I, I think it gives it more depth. I like it. I do like that, but I did really enjoy that, that classic castle. Mm -hmm. um, same yeah, like style, said, it's same been, wall. Yeah, yeah it's... I did like it, you know. I just don't really know if they needed to change it. I would maybe just change the colors. I like oh. how it was gray all the way up. Like I kind of wish that they just maybe the add the gold to it. Like, I could see that being really cool, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll I, see. I think I'll enjoy it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like it a lot. Like I, I think, and I didn't even think about it that way until he actually mentioned it during this recording. Uh, through rainy season at Disney, yeah. or just a mucky weather, or a fog, or anything. If you're there and that's your one day to pose or take yeah. pictures in front of the castle or whatever, you want it um, to stand out. It's going to be more vibrant. It'll stand out, and I think that's great. And uh, people will love it for their Instagram filters and all that mess. Mm -hmm. it's gonna, I think it'll be a hit. I think for the general public, it'll be a hit because it'll just pop more. Yeah. Um, but that's it for this episode, guys. So we just wanted to briefly kind of break down and discuss our thoughts on that. Yeah. Again, we're not upset about it. We're not super excited for it. But I think it's we we do yeah. collectively think it's it's good going forward. Yeah. It'll be better. Change a little bit better. Good. Yeah. So maybe. Uh, yeah. Not maybe. not everything. Maybe. But changing. They did the change uh, the Figment ride years yeah. ago, and that was not a good change. So. Yeah. Anyways, um, that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. It helps so much more yeah. than you know. We appreciate all the love and support. Hit the subscribe button if you have not, but that'll be it. So yeah. we and will see you next next episode. Yeah, and please let us know if you do like it or don't. Yes, what are your <laughs> thoughts on it? I, don't, yeah. I almost forgot to ask that. Do you like it? Do you love it? Hate it? Indifferent? Or are you kind of like us? You meet in the middle, but you're kind yeah. of leaning on the positive side. So Not that we we hate it. It's just yeah. it wasn't maybe necessary. Anyways, I'm going to keep babbling. I, I want to let, let you guys go and get yeah. out of life. We will see you next week. Take sure. care.